I'm Tom Ackerman. This is the Pitcher's Pitch on KMOX.com. We're with former Cardinal Kyle McClellan as we break down this series, an interleague series, against the Cleveland Indians. And my gosh, did they need some rest on Monday. And now facing the Indians and using the DH, it'll be an interesting series. The Indians have struggled this season, Kyle, and the Cardinals are going to go at them with Lance Lynn on a Tuesday against Carlos Carrasco. How do you see this first game? Yeah, I mean, just the Indians, like you said, are struggling. I mean, their record, uh, 11-19 and 19 or whatever it is, and you look at their starting pitching and their numbers are not impressive. So this is a, a great time for the Cardinals to be in there. Uh, and, and I think if you look at the matchups, the Cardinals definitely have – uh, the advantage going into this. Lance Lynn, you know, we need to get him back on track, get him going deeper in the games like we're used to seeing. And, and once you see that, I think everything's going to fall into place for him. Got a 5-10 game today. And then tomorrow, John Lackey against Corey Kluber. Kluber was the Cy Young Award winner last year, but he's 0-5. Rough start for him. Yeah, definitely. You know, I, I've watched him before, and, I mean, he has got great stuff. And the fact that he's 0-5, I'll be interested to watch that game closely and see – you know, what is it that, that is, is off for him? Why isn't he in that Cy Young caliber? For a guy with his stuff to be 0-5, you wonder if something's not wrong. Michael Waka, 5-0, and and he goes in the Thursday game, the 11-10 game. Waka is off to a tremendous start. John Lackey, by the way, who pitches on Wednesday. That was just a grown man's game that he pitched against the Cubs. <laughs> it was just awesome. Now, Michael Waka, a very good start for him, but Carlos Martinez – the other young gun in this rotation has struggled. What have you seen from him these last two starts? He's just inconsistent. You know, I feel like he's throughout his start, he's been different pitchers. Uh, he, he'll he'll go through an inning or two that he'll be really good, and then go through an inning or two that he's not very good. And that is the consistency of a starting pitcher. Look, when you when you're starting pitcher and you're expected to lock it in over six, seven, eight innings, that's the hardest thing to do. When you're in the bullpen, you can come out and do it for three innings. That's one thing. But to do it in the rotation and do it consistently while you're you know, in, sitting in between innings, while you're having have to go up and hit and do those kinds of things, the attention span is, is the hardest thing to control. So for him, he has got to harness that. And when the game speeds up, he has to slow down. He tends to speed up with it. And those are really the two things that once he figures that out, don't forget he's a young kid, and, and he's supposed to be the fifth starter, but once he figures those out, and now having to be thrown in the fourth spot in the rotation, uh, I, I think he'll be he'll be just fine. We'll see him this weekend against the Detroit Tigers, and who know we who knows we may soon see Jaime Garcia, perhaps Marco Gonzalez, who both started over the weekend in Memphis. Would love to see Matt Carpenter, Randall Grichik get this bench going, as the third baseman Carpenter would really help that bench getting back into the lineup. Kyle, we appreciate it. Always great seeing your stuff at KMOX.com slash Mac. And for all of us here, we'll talk to you before the next series. Yep, see you next series. That's the Pitcher's Pitch on KMOX.com.